Hello, my name is Jamie Charleston, Senior Sales Engineer with Cloud Linux and our Immunify Security. Today I'm going to be introducing Immunify 360 hooks. So let's start with a little background. We're starting out with Immunify 360. It's an all-in-one security solution for web hosting, providing six layers of security for the Linux servers. It's focused on automated security. Let's look at the automation. We've got artificial intelligence and heuristics for threat detection. We also have the CLI hooks for automated management. In this video, we're going to be focusing specifically on the hooks. So let's look at the problem. Immunify 360 detects a lot of events and alerts on the server and handles them automatically. That's great. That's what we want. But there was no way to get notified on events asynchronously. No easy way to customize event processing and no easy way to automate routine tasks regarding alert processing. Now as an administrator, how may I want to customize things within Immunify 360? Well, as an example, I may want to submit an internal ticket when a user account has been detected with a virus. I may want to notify an administrator via instant messenger when a misconfiguration has been found. So finally, what are hooks? They're asynchronous notifications coming from the Immunify agent. They're a simple way to customize processing of events from the agent, customizable event processing. Example of usage is the, the ability to send an email notification or submit a ticket when malware is detected on a user account. A hook handler could be any executable or script. Examples of different events are when on-demand scan is started, when a scan is done and malware has been detected, or when Immunify 360 detects a broken agent config. So getting started with hooks couldn't be any easier. First, you choose the hook. Second, you write a hook handler. It could be PHP or any other language. Make it executable. Third, Register the file with the hook handler via the command line interface. Done. So let's look at the process I'm going to go through for the demo I'm about ready to perform. The demo is going to be how to suspend an infected user account automatically after scan. To start out, I'm going to create a script that will be registered as the handler of the malware detected hook. I'm going to register the malware detected hook via the command line interface. I've already got some malicious files uploaded to my cPanel test user account. I'm going to run an on-demand scan and we're going to check the state of the account in the cPanel user interface. So let's go ahead and move over to our actual demo. So I'm inside of my cPanel server as root. I'm going to start out by creating a directory called hooks. I'm going to cd into the directory and I'm going to create a file called hook.php where I'm going to store my hook handler. I've provided my code and I'm going to save it. I'm going to make it executable. And I'm going to register my handler now. So here you can see Immunify 360 agent hook add event. The type is malware detected and the path to my hook. It's now registered and ready for use. So we're going to start out in cPanel by looking at the account list. And notice that all of the accounts, the two of them, are both active. We're going to scroll down to Immunify 360, open up the dashboard. We're going to go into the malware scanner and we're going to initiate a scan. Now I already have four threats detected, but I haven't worked with them. So I'm going to do a rescan. So I've got an on-demand scan processing. And you notice that we've detected four threats again. I'm going to go back over to list accounts. 
and you'll now notice that the account with the infections has been suspended. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Hooks that are available in version 4.2 are the agent, malware scanning, malware cleanup, malware detected. And upcoming hooks are license, domain blacklisted, kernel updated, backup, malware database updated. And with that, that is the conclusion of our demonstration and explanation on hooks. Thank you for watching.